Yeah, hi Randy and Julie. Uh, fire, the fire department says they're still looking in to what caused this fire, but a crew on scene this morning told us that early indicators point to a lightning strike. Whatever it was caused a lot of damage. On a nice night like this, Lola on the lake probably would have been really busy. Instead, it's taped off, and if you look a little further, they have a gate surrounding the building. All of this to keep people away and safe while the park board looks into just how badly this building is damaged and what to do with it now. On a warm spring day, people out at Bidet Makaska would normally be focused on the lake. This is crazy. Instead, attention was on the charred building beside it. We had heard the report, so we stopped just to, to see it. The building, which houses Lola on the lake, has been a fixture of the park since 1930. It's kind of the hub of the lake in a lot of ways. Thursday morning, that history went up in flames. I turned on the news and there was our sign, and it was the building. The fire around four this morning didn't injure anyone, but it did significantly damage the building. Lola had been leasing it since 2017 from the Minneapolis Park and Rec Board. The park board says they're assessing the damage and until further notice, the boat launch, bike rentals and all watercraft rentals will be closed as their focus now turns to how to move forward. The owner of Lola on the Lake says he wants to rebuild. The park board says they're working with him to still have some services out here this summer. They say they'll have porta, -po porta potties. They also would like to have food trucks staffed by Lola workers since this was the only place directly off the lake to get food. We're told that the owner would like to have those food trucks out in the park by Memorial Day weekend. Oh, that'd be great. Thank you, Jennifer.